Okay, so Vesper Rift. Get down. Um, that's not Vesperia. Maybe the rift names are just unrelated to the actual location. Humans here of all places. <laughs> Kronos. Is he floating? That's not a person. He's more like a mass of astral energy. That sounds a lot like a great astral spirit. Yeah. How predictable, applying simple-minded molds to others. I doubt he's a great astral spirit, but there is something alien about him. <laughs> if anything, you're alien to your own realm. <sighs> you feign comfort with fate, all the while bearing claws at destiny. You remind me of a certain race. A race that struggles even as they destroy multitudes of worlds. Worlds that devour multitudes of energy. Disgraceful, all of it. Sounds like someone has it in for us. Say, there's supposed to be six keys, right? And this is the sixth area. This must be our last stop. Be careful. This one's not like the others we ran into. You know, Edna mentioned being invited here. I'd figured it was the researchers doing, but what if there was something else in play? You think this guy's behind it all? That's anyone's presumption. Somehow I doubt he'd give us a answer <laughs> if we asked. I'll give you the courtesy of my name. I am the great spirit Kronos, ruler, ruler of, of time, time and space. space. And now I shall demonstrate my power. Or oh, it's going straight to fight him. Level 95 Kronos. I've never felt power so potent before. It feels like I'll be crushed by force. Didn't come all this way just to lose now. Luckily, we've got power of our own. Ow! Yeah, I know. Ow! I'm on it. 
Stop pushing my door open! You can sit here if you want to, but you're staying in here. Work. Ah. How are you not hit me there? I didn't plan on seeing that. So when you stop time, how we get Hey, it's not time right there. So the only... So you just wait and stop time this one to, to attack? Huh. I make sure whatever I do, I, I, I sit, I sit, I sit, keep some cares away from him. Oh, 
battle is stacked heavy against us. So we regroup. Why, why did I take that in? How are you not is he just not hitting me for some reason? I was about to dodge. <laughs> Dang. Come on!
Dang. Oh well, I'll take it. What quaint arts you use. He's healing? Not quite. I turned back time, to be precise. You really do control time and space. Was this place something you made? It was not I who made it. Nor was it Origin or Maxwell. So there's a world unrelated to the three primordial great spirits. Primordial? Do you mean to tell us you have the power to create worlds? You may make of me what you will. Another great spirit and another <laughs> Oh boy. I strongly recommend that research into doorways through time and space should be strictly for <laughs> <sighs> But what are rules to a species that insists on ignoring history's lessons? The people of your realm will learn of this place, and they will use it to rob and exploit other worlds. That's they are driven by pure desire. They fob off their burdens on others, all without reflecting upon what comes of it. To hell with this. We've torn down every barrier in front of us, but we know better than to call it good there. We'll build a world where people can coexist and walk hand in hand, and we won't give up until we do. Yeah. We're ready to put in the work to change. I'll make sure this research gets called off. You have my word on that. I suppose this is another trait that your species shares. I will remain here for a time. See to it that this absurd research is ended. <laughs> All right, Kronos. We understand. Oh, boy. And know this. If anyone attempts to abuse the gateway, to interfere with our world. I will cast them into the time-space rift. <laughs> the void that kind of thing ends to, to this, this uh, sequence. We'll see to it that that never happens. You'll see from up there on your throne. I must keep striving. A nine ninety. Oh wow, we only made ninety. Good advice for all of us, to be honest. Me mechanical doll accessory. Is that origin? Yeah, Keith, thank you. You've done a great service. Yes. It wasn't quite like you described, though. It wasn't? How so? Oh. Bringing people from other worlds there. Perhaps they are caught in the world's moment of segmentation and connection. Fascination. Oh. That's not the right to use. We create problems to them, and there might be connections to even more dangerous worlds. I think you should cover reach it off. This gate we wrapped closed. That's why the gate holds snippets at each world. It should return to normal as the astronaut enter here dwindles. Snippets at each world. Huh? The astronaut is dwindling? Yes. I've taken Sam. I've been taking continuous measurements, and I've seen a rapid dispersal in the this area. It shall stay like once the density match out off the levels. The key will be unable to sustain itself, and it will be slowly fading away. Hmm. The visitors about time and space. The fear of curiosity, I trust you visit them where you can. They hear a different standards than our own. No, I need to do spy to ensure that this space-time separation occurs as slowly as possible. That's they want is for a sudden breakaway to leave the roof in its wake. That was a scary thought. This picture won't happen overnight. I should, I'd, I'd still take a while longer. <laughs> really? We just wanted siblings that they will have a little longer together. And why yours too? In the meantime, you're free to use the keys and calling as you please. It'd be a great service. That's probably a fair compare company, but take it. Take it. Oh, wait, survivor. <sighs> well.
I heard that the best way to do this is to just keep fighting Kronos over and over again. Kind of annoying, though. We'll, we'll, we'll hold off on that and uh, do some other things first. Means reunions. I don't know what all this gate and key stuff is about, but you've got to be a little crazy to do research inside a Zoogle's stomach. I don't care what he gets up to on his own time. I'm just glad nothing crazy came out of all that in the end. He was trying to bridge together dimensions. That in itself is rather ludicrous, I would argue. Still, Aizen, was it? It seems like that was the first he'd seen of his sister all grown up. In that respect, I'm glad it worked out for him. Everything has a silver lining if you look hard enough. Doesn't change the fact that his little experiment was real dangerous. Look at it from his perspective. I know if I got to see family I thought I never would again, that'd make me really happy too. Truth be told, I'm with Kisara on this. The ability to see those that you're afraid you've lost, even one more time. I hope it works out for them. There was also that Kronos guy we met at the end. Rather less charming. <laughs> what do you think his deal was? Yeah, he had those weird ears sticking out. It's impossible to say whether he's like us or not. However, if we're to judge by his strength and appearance, he is clearly no ordinary being. And what he said to Xi'an was just... that was so awful. He most likely has his reasons for believing in what he does, even if they come from a very different place than what we ourselves know. He didn't seem to be too harsh on anybody who wasn't human, though. Ooh. It was all so strange. I wonder if we'll ever get to meet anybody else from other dimensions. Who can say? If we do, I pray it will be somebody more friendly. I can only fight every newcomer that we meet for so long. It'd be nice to get some <laughs> of ally every once in a while. The wide world of Dana. It's amazing, isn't it? We've been all over Dana on this journey. Is there anywhere we haven't visited at this point? Who knows? I'm being serious. We're talking about a whole planet here. Isn't it more exciting to just assume there are places we haven't seen yet? Uh, I picked the wrong guy to ask. Uh, what about you, Alfin? What do you think? That's a good question. I figure we visited just about every place civilization has set its eyes on. So, is there anything left for us to see? That I couldn't say. We are talking about seeing an entire planet. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I guess so. Mm -hmm. This journey has proven just how little I truly knew our world. There is always more to learn. To assume otherwise would be the height of conceit. There might well be places that we still haven't discovered yet. And if you ask me, I think that's perfectly fine. Me too. We don't need to know every inch of Dana to fulfill our mission. Besides, I think there's something romantic about there still being mysteries out there. I'd say it's part of the fun to imagine whether we'll be the first to uncover those mysteries. Maybe even now there are other explorers who will shed a light in the darkest places. True! I guess the world's bigger than any of us will ever really realize. You know, I was just saying the same thing as Alfin. Why does she listen to him <laughs> and not me? Sounds like you've still got a lot to learn about the mysteries of a woman's heart as well. Oh boy. I think we got that because we, we, we completely visited every area in the game. 